Tragic shooting death in the desert. It happened at a popular shooting spot north of town early this morning. Tonight, investigators believe 29-year-old David Ferreira was killed by a ricocheting bullet. Action News reporter Brian Callahan is joining us down live from Metro headquarters with the latest on what we know about this. Brian. Yeah, investigators say at this point this appears to be a tragic shooting accident at a popular shooting spot for Valley target shooters. I went out there today, talked to several people out there. They were obviously saddened by this death, but they say it's a safe spot and they plan to keep on shooting. Several groups of shooters were out testing their aim at the Mud Hill shooting area Monday. You get to be outside. You know, out in the elements, uh, it's it's a great place to come and shoot. Just hours earlier, Metro says David Ferreira was killed by a ricochet bullet or rock. The 29 year old was out shooting with a pair of friends around midnight. Investigators say it was something the group did often using their headlights to see the targets. Everybody works uh, during the day and they get off uh, in the evening. Uh, and this is the time when they can come out and uh, practice their hobby. As you can see by all of the targets and spent shells and casings on the ground, this is a popular place for people to shoot. Those that were out here today say it's a safe place to shoot, but you have to know not only what you're shooting at, but what's around it. You have to be sure where the bullet's going to end up when you squeeze the trigger. Jim Rowley is a former volunteer at the county shooting complex, but brought friends to the area because the county complex is closed on Mondays and Tuesdays. He also brought along an elevated target to avoid shooting into the ground. If you're shooting in the ground at, a, at an endowment angle, when it hits, it's going to go up mm -hmm. or if it doesn't go in. Those that frequent the area say it is safe to shoot in the area and say there's often a lot of people out there. 90% of the time you have experienced shooters out here. We all watch out for each other. And everyone I talked with today said when you are shooting, it all comes down to training and safety no matter where you're practicing. Reporting live at Metro Headquarters, Brian Callahan, Channel 13 Action News. Brian,